Welcome back, YouTube, to another episode in our Making an FPS in UE4 series. This is going to be episode 3, and in today's episode, we're going to basically cover a very simple function that is just getting our gun that we have set up to shoot. Okay, so this is going to be a basic mechanic that is going to propagate to all the children of our uh, weapon master, and because it will be a child-based weapon. A weapon system and you'll we'll learn more about that as we go on but anyways let's um actually just first of all get the um inputs ready because we need to have uh our proper input set up so that way we can even trigger the firing so go to your project settings as i just did there um and then you'll want to scroll down onto the side where it says input and on that input uh section you're going to want to add uh, to your axis mapping, or action, excuse me, action mapping. And um, you're going to want to add, who wants to add it for me? Oh no, sorry, it's just, they were doing it without that. Okay, you're going to want to add a new action mapping and name it weapon primary. And then we're going to add another one called weapon secondary and while we're here we're going to add a few more for the weapons weapon reload weapon mode okay so those are the those are the ones that we're going to be using for right now these need to be left mouse button right mouse button R or whatever button you want reloading to be and I believe I have this at X okay so that's all we're gonna need for our project settings you can hit control shift s if you want to save everything real quick actually you shouldn't need to do that excuse me and now what we're going to do is go over to uh, our gun um, so we're not gonna do everything we're gonna do some things bit by bit but uh, we're just gonna like I said get very basic shooting setup so let's go over to our blueprints open up weapons BP weapon master and open up the full blueprint editor now we're going to um, want to do uh, let's see uh, first of all just actually create an event so create uh, custom event and just call this start fire and then off of this event we need to uh, spawn actor from class and um, for now that's actually going to be it but we are going to have a lot more that's going to add be added to this um, so f right now let's get the uh, Let's see, skeletal mesh. And actually on this skeletal mesh, we need to create a, a muzzle socket. So for every weapon that you have, you need to make a muzzle socket or a location for the bolt to spawn out of. So this may or may not have it already. I can't quite remember. Uh, it looks like it doesn't. It's got a bone for the muzzle flash and that's about it where that bone's located i don't know oh right there okay so it, it wasn't showing up all right but what we can do because that's a perfect location we can just uh let's see add a socket and um let's see if i'm getting this right add a socket here and then just name this socket muzzle if i could spell and then uh all the values that we have here uh, can just stay zero. Okay, so now, um, let's see, where are we gonna wanna go? We're gonna, we can close this, go back to our weapon master, and off of this, get uh, socket bone name. Oh, I don't know why it's doing this. Hold on, now I'm gonna delete all this stuff right here just to get it out of my way. <laughs> um, or sorry, I didn't want that. I want to get socket transform. 
the socket we want is muzzle. Uh, the transform space can stay as it is. And then we want to break this. And uh, make this, because this all will come into play later. Um, but I'm just setting this up for now. Uh, and then the location can be one, or, or connected to there. And then the, uh, and then everything else we're not going to touch for right now. Our collision, we should uh, always spawn ignore collisions. And then our class, we're going to leave that open in just a second. But or open, but we're going to fill that in just a second. So let's do that right now. What we need to do, let me compile this for, real quick. Um, what we need to do is actually make a class. That's our error right here. So let's actually go back to our blueprint folder and let us make a bullet. So um, if I can do things correctly, <laughs> what we need to do is go into our weapons, create a new folder called projectiles because we are going to have uh, different kinds of projectiles for different weapons. And your different projectiles are going to have different data values as well. And then right click blueprint class. Project oh, that's right, I forgot. My yeah, I didn't think so. Okay, so then we need to create an actor and just call it well, bullet. Actually, call it BP underscore bullet master and then open this up and it immediately we're going to want to add a projectile movement and add a capsule collision drag the capsule capsule collision over the default scene route to make it the parent add a static mesh and that for now should do it. I'm going to have some other stuff we're going to add later, um, but for now that'll do. All right, so for the static mesh, we should just be able to um, capsule, um, and then on our capsule here, we just want 22, and then on this. We just want 90, 90. And then uh, on our capsule, we want to make sure that our collision is set up. So uh, the collision is going to determine what, what hits and what doesn't hit. So this should be fine, but let's go to custom. So we're going to want collision enabled. We're going to want this to be a physics body. Um, and then, let's see, we want to block all except for pawn, because that's going to be us. So we'll set that up, but that'll ignore us. That way the bullet doesn't accidentally hit us. And other than that, that should do it. Oh, we will want to simu simulate generated hit events. Other than that, that should be good for a bullet. Control-Shift-S to save everything. Oh, let's set up a projectile movement here real quick. Um, so this uh the basic speed that we're gonna have for like a generally okay bullet speed is five thousand you're not really gonna be able to see anything per se necessarily unless you've got a nice material which we don't really have set up um but yeah and then the gravity you can set to zero for just having a straight bullet just for now it's just nice um for for aiming and, and testing out you don't have to worry about like real bolt drop and stuff all right, control shift S. Okay. So now let's tell let's compile this and pick the bullet. Bullet master compile. All right. Good. We're good. And then um now what we're going to do is go over to our character and tell our character how to actually uh call that. So let's open up our character here. And in our character, we're going to want to uh, make some room or just select a section where we want to add this uh, weapon primary. Because whenever someone hits left mouse, this is going to be called. Well, first of all, 
Um, let's see. Uh, our current weapon, uh, I'm actually going to name that to equipped item because that's more um, generic because we're not always going to have a weapon in hand. Alrighty. Compile that. And then what we're actually going to do is from here just like I said we're doing basic stuff we're not adding in all the all the features and functions and uh, oh geez it's not let me drag it okay here we go um, we're gonna want to from here grab our equipped item and just tell it to start fire And uh, now for us, we don't need it to stop fire yet. Uh, you may be wondering, okay, we've got start fire. <laughs> you know, how, uh, uh, how where's start fire going to come into play? Or stop fire going to come into play? Uh, we're not going to use that yet. We're going to set that up in a different episode where we're set up fire modes. But for now, this will do it. And if we go into our character, should work. All right, so now... We're having this issue where it spawns just in one direction, right? And in order to fix fix that issue, um, I know we got to go and calculate the, the muzzle rotation. All right, and to fix that issue, what we're going to want to do is make a function over here. And we're going to call that function set muzzle rotation. We're going to actually have to go back into our, our weapon to make a variable that we need. And that variable that we need in our weapon is going to be called muzzle rotation. So let's make that. And set that to be a rotator. Now we can go back into our player, get our equipped item, say uh, muzzle muzzle rotation yep and I'll compile this and compile that all right get our muzzle rotation or actually we want to set that and the way we're going to set that is let's see first drag off this find look at rotation the start here we're going to get socket location actually well with this get socket location uh a skeletal mesh this one okay. muzzle oh not what i want start there and then this is going the target is going to be a new object that we need to create on our character so the, this object is going to um, set up uh, something that is a, a weird system that I've kind of made main, uh, or created to theoretically make the perfect center-ish. And, and I don't know that it necessarily is perfect center, but it definitely works very well. So pretty much what I do is I at the at the uh, in at the end of a, or at, on a camera I should say. So what I do is on a camera I add a um, boom arm or spring arm, and I just made this like a hundred thousand lengths long. Um. And then at the end of that, I just put a static mesh, leave it blank. I just called it aim object first person perspective. Um, and then what you can do is gr get this, so control drag the aim object and uh, get world location, not that. And it will make the gun, the muzzle of the gun, constantly look straight ahead, at like dead center. 
even if the gun is technically not pointing like it wouldn't shoot that way, it'll shoot to your dead center of the camera. Um, let me just make sure that this object, so like go back to the character, and then aim object is, hold on then. <laughs> okay, spring arm, ah, alrighty. Looks like I need to rotate the spring arm 180 degrees. My bad. Alrighty. And uh, I do believe that should do it. Actually, and then hold on, hold on, excuse me. And then we need to go back here and muzzle rotation. Uh, should go to on your gun the rotation from your bullet should be the muzzle rotation and then actually you can set the scale to point 0.1 on because the bullets were huge as you saw and other than that it should work better now nope hold on let me see why Ah, uh, yes, because on your event graph where uh, you have the weapon primary fire, you need to set the muzzle rotation uh, or get that function to be called every single time so that way it updates every single time. Ah, hold on. You should actually put it before the fire. as well so that way it uh, uh, sets the rotation before you fire and there we go there's your there's your um, uh, gun that, that spawns bullets um, so it's obviously you can't aim or anything down the sights, but it does spawn the bullets and the bullets do stay there. So let's get them to disappear real quick and at, once they hit something and we'll call it an episode. So to get them to disappear, uh, you go back to your blueprints or your weapons projectiles, go to your bullet and then, uh, on the capsule, click the capsule, scroll down and uh, get the on component hit and hit component or actually just once once you've uh once the component's been hit because that's going to call that just destroy actor and leave it on self and it will destroy itself whenever it hits something so now you don't have the dots sticking everywhere which i mean would be a cool mechanic if that's something you want um, or you can have it like a delay and then destroy. You know, you've got you've got options there. So there's always, obviously, there's infinite possibilities. But next time we're going to look at uh, expanding the gun's features with fire modes and whatnot. But until then, uh, have fun and thanks for watching.